Welcome to the BGP video on attaching a rubric to a quiz. We will start at the point assuming that you have already imported the BGP template into your active semester shell. If you haven't imported the template yet, please watch the video on how to do so, which is also located on the same website where you found this video. So this, we're going to assume this screen looks like your active um, BGP course for that semester. To attach the rubric, you're going to come down um, to the tab for quizzes and click on, click on quizzes. Find the quiz that you would like to attach the rubric to. We're going to click on quiz one. If you come up here to the upper right, you'll see the settings widget. If you just click on the down arrow, you'll see show rubric. If you click on this, it, then you go to add rubric. Since you've already imported the BGP template, that rubric with all the BGP learning outcomes will already be in your course template. So when you click add rubric, you don't have to recreate anything because it's already there. You want to go right here to find a rubric. Now when I click on this, in my scenario, I'm going to have all the BGP rubrics because they're all in my system. But you're going to want to find the one specific to your course. In this specific case, I'm looking for FN2070, which is a BGP course. So I click Find a Rubric. And you can see these are all BGP courses that I have um, in mine. And I'm going to scroll down until I find FN2070 right here, BGP. I'm going to click on that. And there it is. And then I scroll down here and I click on use this rubric. And I can see that it's the one I want. It's got all the natural sciences, one through six, and it's there. And by clicking on use this rubric, that automatically attaches it and I can just close out of this. Now, once my students have taken this quiz and I come into SpeedGrader, and all of them load, you can see right here that it says view rubric. I will click on the rubric and based on the score of this quiz, um, I can give them whether they did not meet, meet, or exceeded. Now, depending on your department is how you will fill out this um, rubric. Some quizzes are mastery quizzes, so depending on the total grade of the quiz, you will give them the zero, one, or two for each of these. It may be based on each question. So in this quiz, I have 10 questions. And maybe questions one and two are related to NS1. Questions three and four are related to NS2 and so forth. One way that you can do this without having to remember it is right here in this additional comment section. When you are setting up your test banks or your quiz, if you just set it up as a quiz and not a test bank, in the additional comment section, you can click in here and you can add NS1. So you remember that this question refers to that learning outcome. So that when you go through and you see, okay, they didn't get this one correct, I can put does not meet expectations. If they did get this one correct, and I know that this goes to NS2, then I can say that they met the expectation if we're going question by question. Again, in your department, you have already determined what those rankings will be. Once you have you know, gone through and you've selected all of these and um, you're finished, once you select each one, as you can see, it turns green, just like with all the other rubrics. You'll hit Save. The rubric's completed. You'll come up to the arrow, and you'll go to the next student in your section. And you will start to fill out the rubric for them. And once you fill out all the rubrics and hit Save, all your BGP data has been imported into the system for the Office of Assessment to download.